The Neighborhood School Readiness Team project was launched in 2006 by Fairfax Futures, Fairfax County's Office for Children, and Fairfax County Public Schools. The Neighborhood School Readiness Team project builds community. School readiness is a concept and it's not something that's tangible that you could say, this is our product and this is what we're doing. It's the increase in enrollment, yes. It's the education of the social work staff who participate on the team, who learn about services. It's the daycare provider who has been feeling like she's been trying to get these little ones ready all by herself, and now she realizes that there are resources that she can come to. Teams are comprised of early childhood educators, community, county, and school representatives who understand the social and economic needs of children and families in each neighborhood. We try our best to create a level playing field so every child can live up to his or her potential. And the Neighborhood Readiness Project allows us to do that in, in targeted neighborhoods where maybe those opportunities are uh, less than in some other parts of our community. One of the main challenges that we hope that the School Readiness Team will help us meet is to join us and getting the concept of, of change across the community, of, of how we think about school readiness, of how we think about uh, improving academic outcomes in the community, and also how we get information to parents uh, f as, we, as we work on this, on this paradigm shift of supporting youth from cradle to college to, to career. Let's partner with everyone else who shares this common interest, vision, and mission. Uh, let's essentially wrap students with support to ensure that they're um, ready for school and ready for success at the very earliest ages. Fairfax County's demographics continue to change. More than 38% of the population age 5 and up speaks a language other than English at home. Nearly 4,500 children under the age of 5 live in poverty in the county. Roughly 33% of kindergartners in our county's public schools are eligible for free or reduced cost meals. Our focus is always on how can we improve our students' achievement, and with that is how can we support our families um, by empowering them and our community to support us in that mission. One of the things I, uh, I like about Fairfax Futures, it's bringing together traditional and non-traditional resources in this effort at early childhood opportunity, educational opportunity. So it isn't just the school system, but it's also the health department. It's also our libraries. It's getting into neighborhoods and trying to activate parents and mentors and others uh, to, to create this new paradigm which enhances early childhood learning. That means, you know, signing up for school early, it means uh, orienting the child and the parents to what they're going to be facing in the fall. The strengths, the challenges that those families and children have can be something that the community and the school can use to help that child as they um, move along in their education. It's how we all can collaborate together in getting our children um, to the place we hope they can be. As a result of this project, there is a greater appreciation for shared responsibility in pursuit of common goals. Communities, early childhood education programs, and schools have come together in support of young children's smooth transition to kindergarten. Um, it has helped me be uh, more cognizant of the, not just um, academic pieces that our children are dealing with, but some of the mental health issues that our children are dealing with and supports for them. Being on this team has made my job easier because I have seen the the kids come to school less scared, more prepared, and the, the bridging of their education has been a lot easier because the kids are ready. We totally overhauled the manner in which we conducted our kindergarten orientation and with great success and brought in actually members of the team um, from different county agencies and the community were instrumental and, and not only did they share the ideas but they also participated in the actual orientation which helped ensure it was a huge success. I have gained um, a lot um, from these uh, meetings that I have attended of school readiness uh, program. The things which are uh, happening around in the, the schools and what the schools are expecting from us home uh, daycare providers. Creating community relationships, assuring continuity of support for children and families, 
and partnering during the early years will increase the odds that children will experience early and sustained success in school and beyond. With additional public and private support, the neighborhood teams will continue to expand and grow. These are the young people of today, uh, but they are the adults and the achievers of tomorrow. And it's really critical that we start as early as is needed in order for those young people to be able to do well in school. Our economic future is very much dependent on the success of this investment in early childhood learning. If we're really, really serious about uh, responding and addressing and uh, ameliorating the achievement gap, we have to be really serious about quality, quality early childhood programming. To learn more about the Neighborhood School Readiness Team project and how you can make a difference, please visit us at www.fairfax-futures.org.